Good day class, my name is Sir Gian. So sa video ito, ang pag-aaralan po natin is addition of functions. So how can we add two functions? Okay, so bago po, uh, wag na tayo magpauli pa at magsimula na po tayo sa video ito. Okay, pag-aaralan po natin ngayon yung operations on function. Okay, sa operation on function, meron po tayong apat na operation. Sum, pag addition, difference, pag minus, Uh, product pag multiplication and quotient pag uh, divide. No? So, unahin natin pag-aralan yung sum of a function. Pag sum of a function, if we add two function, uh, tulad nito, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Paano siya nangyari? Simply, just distribute f to x. Kaya siya naging f of x. Okay? Then, the sign is positive. So, G, i-distribute mo lang siya kay X. So, kaya siya naging uh, F of X plus G of X. So, that is simply that um, formula. No? So, first one, how can we find the example if F of X is 2X plus 8 and then G of X is equal to X plus 4? So, alamin natin yung kanyang sum. First, write the formula. No? So, this is, your, uh, this is our solution. Yeah, solution. So, First, write the formula, f plus g, okay, f, of, uh, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x, okay? Next, change the value of f of x. So, palitan natin yung f of x, that is 2x plus 8. So, 2x plus 8. Okay? So, that is 2x plus 8 now. No? Then, add. I-add natin siya yung operations kasi is uh, sum. So, g of x, that is x plus 4. Okay? So, next, after that, uh, i-add na natin siya. O, mas maganda, tanggalin muna natin yung kanyang mga parentheses. 2x plus 8, then distribute x, then okay, i-add. So, after that class, tingnan nyo po yung mga like terms. Ngayon, unahin natin ngayon si 2. Si 2x. Si 2x ba ay may kasama pang other terms? So, meron siyang kasama ang other terms. Alin dyan? Itong x. No? So, syempre, dahil variable lang yan, ang x, uh, coefficient niya is 1. So, copyin mo yung bal copyin mo yung x, and then add mo si 2, tsaka si 1. 2 plus 1, that is 3. Okay? Then plus, ngayon, si 8 ay isang whole number or sa madaling salita, siya ay isang constant. No? So may kasama siya is yung 4. So anong gagawin sa kanila? Iyan siya. 8 plus 4, that is 12. So, f, of, uh, f plus g of x now is equals to 3x plus 12. No? Since, pansin ninyo, para siyang uh, factorable. Kung gusto niyo siyang i-factor, ganito lang po siya. Ilabas mo yung 3, then x plus, ano yung number? Uh, ano yung number na pwede mo i-times k3 para maging 12? So, that is 4. So, pwede nga yun yung sabot mo. Pwede nga yan. Or, no? Pwede nga yun yung sabot mo or pwede rin ito. Okay? Pag sinabing i-factor or i-simplest form, ilagay ito. Pero pag hindi naman sinabi yung ilagay yung simplest form, is ito lang. Okay? Nasa approach po kasi yan ng teacher or ng professor. So, next. Okay. So, dito tayo sa next problem. So, same. Sum of a function pa din. Example is x squared minus 2x minus 15 para sa f of x. And also the g of x is x plus 3. So, let us find the sum of these two functions. So, first. Na, so, solution put the solution here. So, f plus g of x is equals to f of x plus g of x. So now, what should be next, uh, what should be the next step? First, change the value of f of x according to the given. So the, f of, the value of f of x is uh, x squared uh, minus 2x minus 15. And then next, since addition is our operation, add, 
and then change the value of g of, g of x that is uh, x plus 3 so this is x plus 3 okay so yeah next pagkatapos po niyan let us uh, siguro mas maganda tanggalin muna ulit talaga natin yung parenthesis para mas ma-identify natin x squared minus 2x minus 15 plus x plus 3 okay so now ano ang susunod na gagawin natin ano ano po yung susunod nating uh, gagawin una yung x squared si x squared si x squared tingnan mo kung may kapareho siya dito sa other terms sa other terms wala so since wala siyang kasama or wala siyang kaparehas i-bring down na lang siya next is susunod natin si negative 2 so bring down mo ang negative 2x ngayon tignan mo kung may kaparehas si negative 2x ng terms Okay, so meron siya ito, si positive x. So, bring down mo din yung positive x. Okay? And then, the next is, uh, how about this one? Negative 15. So, bring down mo ang negative 15. Siyempre, may kasama din siya, that is yung 3. Kasi pareho silang whole number. So, positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, pinagsama-sama na natin yung mga like terms. So, next. So, x squared, bring down. Then, minus. Then, Negative 2x plus x. So that is negative na automatic. Negative mas mataas kasi yung 2. Kasi yung ginamit ay negative. So negative 2x plus x that is negative x. And then, uh, negative 15 plus 3. Since mas mataas ang 15, ang ginamit na sign ay negative. Then 15 minus 3 that is 12. So this is our answer. F plus g. F plus g of x is equal to x squared minus x uh, minus 12. Okay, so let us proceed now for our next uh, problem. Okay, so paano naman kapag last? Ito, ito yung last natin problem, no? So how about if f of x is equal to x squared minus 25 and g of x is equal to x minus 5? Let us find the f plus g of 3. So ibig sabihin, meron na whole number or may number na, hindi na x yung given. So, that is 3 na. So, paano natin siya gagawin? Same formula lang. Kung baga, pinalitan lang po natin yung x ng 3. Kasi yun, kasi yung minahanap. Okay? So, f of 3 plus g of 3. Ngayon, ano ang problema natin dito? Ano yung gagawin natin? Sige. Para mas madali natin mag-uha ng paraan. Una, change muna natin yung, at the same time, uh, f of 3. Ang gagawin natin, uh, kunin muna natin yung value ng f of x. So, that is x squared minus 25. Okay, kunin muna natin siya. Then plus, the value of g of 3, that is uh, x minus 5. So, x minus 5. Okay, so next. So, ngayon, dahil nga ang given natin is f of 3. Ngayon, papalitan natin si x squared. Papalitan uh, natin lahat ng x ng 3. So, ang mangyayari is this. 3 squared minus 25. Okay? So, lagi lang natin siya ng bracket. Then, plus, same din siya. So, si x, papapalitan siya ng 3. So, 3 minus 5. Okay? Next, after that, syempre, i-operate natin to. Si 3 squared. So, 3 squared, that's 3 times 3, that is 9. Minus 25 plus 3 minus 5, that is negative 2. Okay? Then next, 9 minus 25. And then, uh, positive times negative, that is negative. No? Negative 2. So, now, let us solve this from left to right. Or, lahat naman kasi siya ay uh, subtraction. So, uh, 9 minus uh, 25 that is 6. Uh, that is negative 16. Okay, negative 16 siya. Then, uh, negative 16 minus 2, that is negative 18. So, therefore, our f plus g of 3 is equal to negative 18. Okay? Yeah. So, ganyan po yung ating process. Kasi may whole number na po siya. So, hindi na po siya ba ka x. So, yan na po. Kapag may whole number, syempre automatic, the final answer should be whole number din. Makapositive man siya or 
negative. Okay? So that's all for our uh, video for today. Maraming salamat po sa si inyo. I hope na sana may natutunan ka sa video ng ito. No? So huwag po mong kalimutan na uh, ikaw ay uh, mag-comment kung may katanong man ka. No? So sana may natutunan ka sa video ng ito. Okay? So ingat-ingat. God bless you.